Hey guys, I just worked out and my hair looks absolutely effing crazy. Um, I had it back in a ponytail. So, and then I realized like as I was feeling my hair that um, it's definitely tangled. I haven't detangled my hair in like a week. So I decided to uh, come back and use my Mason Pearson brush uh, and just review that while I detangle my hair. So yikes. Um, I'm gonna hop in the shower and I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm showing you guys the brush. I said it was very similar to a tangle teaser, um, but the teeth are longer. And one of the complaints I had about the tangle teaser was that I had to do my hair in really little sections because the teeth were really short. Um, I'm going through my hair right now. This part is fairly easy at the bottom of my hair. I haven't detangled my hair uh, in about a week since before I straightened it. And basically, um, I just co-washed um, after I finished working out and then I applied Honey Hemp to my hair uh, before I started detangling. So I'm just going through my hair. Um, there are some spots that I can tell I had shed hair because I needed to kind of work through it with my fingers because the hair would get all tangled up um, in one strand. It was really little, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just working that out because I don't like to use a brush for that um, just because it's so compact that a brush really can't get through it and neither can a comb. So I basically have to use my fingers. Um, and then as I go up my hair, you can see um, that there's more matting at the roots. I'm not exactly sure why my hair does this, but when I get towards the crown of my head and then the sides like right by my ear, um, I get a lot of matting at the roots. It doesn't have anything to do with my lack of trimming. I actually trimmed my hair last week um, when it was straight and the ends are so easy to get through, but for some reason, uh, it just mats up, you know, at the roots. And I really do think it's because I do wash and goes every day and I do allow my hair to shrink and I don't shingle. So shingling kind of keeps the product, you know, from making your hair shrink a lot and I miss my roots and that's kind of the middle of my hair. So actually, yeah, I think that's what, what it is that I don't get product on that root section and then it shrinks up the most and then it begins to mat. Um, that's really my fault. It doesn't really hinder me. I don't get a lot of breakage from it, but it does make detangling take longer. So I don't know, I might want to reconsider maybe going back to doing more sections in my hair uh, when I apply product rather than do the two sections that I've been doing. Um, but see, I'm getting into those parts and instead of just being able to split it in two pieces, I had to split it into three. So as you can see, it's gonna take a little bit longer. Overall, it took me about uh, 45 minutes to detangle my hair, which I don't really like, but you know, it's something that you have to do and that's just part of the uh, burden, <laughs> I'll say, that comes with having natural hair. And it's really funny to me when some people say that, you know, they think that na natural hair ladies are just being overly cautious when they section their hair to detangle, but it's really funny. I know that I would not be able to detangle my hair all at once. It would just not be good. I would either break the tool or I would break my hair. So either way, it's not good. And I actually was talking about some stuff during this section, but when I got to that crown section, I actually used profanity. So I decided to do a voiceover, um, you know, got to keep it light for the kids. But in the front, see where I can get the product, then it's super easy to detangle. So yeah, I guess I should get better at applying product on my crown now that I'm watching this video and I'm seeing what you see that that's where the trouble comes. But back to the uh, Mason Pearson brush. 
it goes through my hair, you know, fairly easy. It's not, it's um, not going to rip your hair. It wasn't, you know, hurting my scalp at all. I wasn't pulling on my hair. And when I didn't have those mats, it was basically just gliding through my hair. But at the same time, um, I was reading some reviews and people were saying that the brush didn't must their curls up. It definitely still messed mine up, but I'm kind of used to this and I don't think that any tool is going to keep this from happening to me because my hair is very thick. So it's, it's fine. I just, you know, it's just something I'm going to have to deal with. Um, if I co-wash back after I'm done detangling, if I get in the shower and condition my hair a couple of times, then the curls come back or I'll just do twist outs. And that will also just give me another style until I feel like washing that out. And then um, I can co-wash my hair. But now we're just going through the second side. Um, this is probably about 25 minutes into the video. I think, yeah, it probably took me a little over 20 minutes for each side. And you can see, once again, those little hairs that I have to get out with my fingers because the brush isn't going to do it. As you can tell at this point in the video, I look very unamused. I was very tired. And so I kept leaning down <laughs> to put my um, elbows on my knees because my arms were really tired. And there you can see another fun mat that Izzy likes to torch me with. So there you have it. That's me detangling. Once again, like I said, that's the worst part of my hair. It just gets so matted. I really, yeah, I'm definitely looking at this and I really am going to start applying more product to those sections because yuck. You see that part where there's no matting, it just glides right through. It's so easy to comb or brush or anything. Just those mats. Well, I'm almost done now. And yeah. Again, the front is fairly easy to do, and I just, I can almost finger detangle at this point in the front because there's, the honey hemp is really good for giving me a lot of slip, and it has a lot of detangling properties, especially if it's left in my hair for a while. So. Okay, I'm back. Um, I put my satin scarf on. I'm just ready to go to bed. I don't really know what I'm going to do with my hair tomorrow, but um, I'm done. And here, that took like 45 minutes. 
annoying. Oh, my hair is too long. Um, so this is how the brush looks right now. And it comes with this nifty little um, cleaner to clean the brush for you. So you don't have to like get up in there and stuff. So here we go. It cleans out the hair for me. Which is the niftiest part, I think. All right. Here. And after taking all that out, I see I have lost this much hair. Oops. Which to me isn't really a lot of hair in this grow stuff um, because, well, one, I have a ton of hair. And two, um, I hadn't really detangled my hair. Okay, I made a mistake and stop the video. As I was saying, um, this isn't really a lot of hair to me because I haven't detangled in a week and. I like besides the finger detangling I do in the shower and I have a lot of hair my hair is thick you know my shed hairs don't come out unless I'm manipulating my hair in some way like I don't I don't get like shed hairs just like on my shoulders or anything like that so this is not bad it was actually good I was actually surprised because I thought it would be more the thing here's one broken hair I don't know if you can see it, but the thing that I do like about this brush um, that I didn't like about the Tangle Teaser was that I thought that I was getting more broken hairs with the Tangle Teaser. This seemed to be very gentle on my hair. It wasn't pulling at my scalp at all. And I'm looking in here and besides that one broken hair, I'm not really seeing a lot of broken hairs in here. And I did it like on my lap and I didn't see any broken hairs on my lap or anything like that or my finger so that's awesome um cons the cost this brush is way too expensive to spend on a brush um well not it will if you want to sure um and also the fact that i read some reviews and some of the women were saying that the brush didn't like uh, muss up their curls um, obviously as you can see from me detangling in the video it did do that um, but I really don't think I'm gonna be able to find a tool that's not gonna do that like another woman's thick a uh, Caucasian woman's thick is not going to be my thick so the way my curls are clumped and stuff I just don't think that's gonna happen but overall um, I give this brush like a B. Oh, there's another broken hair. Still less than Tangle Teaser though. It's not many. Um, yeah, I give it I give it a B. I wouldn't give it an A because uh if it were an A it would have you know, I think I would have been able to go through my hair faster. Um but I'll continue to use it. I do think it's good that I didn't get a lot of broken hair, so I think over time I'll reap some benefits from that. But uh, I definitely think like if you, especially if you have short hair, just get one of the combs because the combs are really good. Just get one of the combs; those are cheaper. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's cool. I'll continue to use it. Um, all right. Well, I am gonna wash my face and go to bed. So. I will talk to you guys later.